Hey, what's happening everybody? My name is Harrison and this is going to be an Unreal 4 Engine C++ tutorial on how to set your view target. Um, if you don't want to watch the video, there should be a GitHub link down below in the comments where you can just get the code and move on. <clears throat> But regardless, let, let's go ahead. Uh, first step, uh, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna set the view target. So we're gonna grab the camera from the first player component. So I am using the standard C++ first person template provided by Unreal. And set and by setting the view target, we're gonna grab the camera and we're just gonna put it somewhere else. So it should be really quick. So let's go ahead and do it. New C++ class, actor, uh, we're gonna call it set view target. and create that class. All right, awesome. It just created the files for us. Uh, right now, in the header file, we want to create one variable. We want to create a static mesh that we can uh, put into the editor, or uh, describe in the editor, or just link up in the editor, or whatever. Uh, so we're going to do a u property um, edit anywhere. And let's just go ahead and call it a actor dash uh, pointer uh, my actor so so it's not a it's not a mesh but it'll be an actor where we move the camera to so that'll be it for the header file move into your CPP file I have my notes here on my right uh, the first thing we want to do is include the kismet game statics class so we do include kismet gameplay statics header file and this will give us the ability to I think it gives the ability to grab the player controller and so we can grab the camera from our player so the first thing we want to do in the begin play function we're going to do all the logic in the begin play function it'll be like two functions uh, a player controller a pointer our player equals you gameplay statics get player uh, controller this and we want to get the first one which is default zero and now since we just got our, our player uh, we want to set the view target from the player that we just got set view target and what do we want to do we want to set it to my actor and that's the actor that we created in the header file that we will define in our in the editor save that Go back to the Unreal Editor, compile. Up, oh, compile failed. Let's see what's wrong. Um, no such file or dependency occurs. I think it's just a typo. Kismet, yeah. There's no, it's not Kismet, it's Kismet, I believe. Let me just double check. Yeah. My fault, compile. Uh, cannot open include file kismet. What's going on? Um, <laughs> there's probably more typos in it. Uh, kismet gameplay stacks. All right, it needs the S. My fault again. Compile. All right, we're good to go. Let's drag it into the viewport. Uh, where's our my actor? So our my actor is right here. It's so let's go ahead and set our view target. Uh, we can choose anything, um, just so we kind of know what we're doing. Uh, let's go ahead and choose this guy. This is editor cube seventeen. So we'll set our my actor to editor cube seventeen, and you'll see the camera just immediately go there when we push begin play. Uh, where is the set view target? So I found my set view target in the panel right here. Now set my actor to 17 we said, yeah 17 and now push play. And now you can kind of see that the camera immediately went to that actor rather than you know staying on the person itself. So now it's here but when we drag it back in and bring it to a cube, let's say 11 or uh, 17 again, the camera, oh shoot, push play, the camera immediately jumps there. So in another video we'll do it with blend so we can kind of see the animation from uh, start point to end point. So that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.